What is up, guys? We are back with another couple episodes of Going For It. Uh, you will see your first appearance of Mike Spillane in uh, this round of uh, some Going For It podcast. Uh, you'll also see a couple new segments I did with Craig. Uh, we called it Carry On Craig, where Craig kind of just gets on a soapbox and talks about whatever he wants, which is basically just the podcast, but uh, a little more a little more focused from Craig for a couple minutes. And In the Pocket, which is a breakdown of the QBs in that division that we talk about in the offseason, just kind of how we feel about them, rank them, a lot of top fives, all that good stuff. So we have even a little bit of draft talk. So that is what we got going on in going for it at this time. Uh, you guys can hope to see some more content more regularly from us. As you can see, I got my setup finally ready to go. I'm repping my New York Giants. All of this stuff was recorded pre-free agency and pr like right after the J.J. Watt signing. So we don't have anything super duper up to date, but I wanted to release it anyway so you guys could get our takes and see how we're feeling. Uh, that will be coming to a screen near you right now. Network people, and I need to do a, a J.J. Watt disclaimer for myself here, for anyone. I like J.J. Watt. Oh, the yeah. things I may be saying here may not sound like that but i actually like him i think he's awesome i think he's a great dude i think he's just maybe more of a good person than where i think his on the field play could matter for the team but that's that's you know we'll get to that we'll get there whenever you want to be there well so we got to talk the contract's juicy it's it's 15 more than and a half 15 and a half for two per year for per two year. years Per year. That's that's the juice. It's pretty good. It, it's not Aaron Donald territory. It's not like best best in class. And that's appropriate. No, but for a guy that you you don't we we established last time that was not someone we anticipated playing a full sixteen game schedule. You're yeah, giving him a mill unlikely. a game. Right. Very unlikely. And they're paying him a lot of money for what you you hope is the ten sack average, right? But he's like you, you made the point just then very rare that he plays a full season. And that's where I'm at on the, I'm so excited, right? The hype is there. He He's a fun guy. He's marketable. He's awesome. He was amazing for Houston. He's also really, very handsome. Let's not forget. He, yeah. That. He's, you know what? I, I can agree with that. I think the, the brothers look good. Him and TJ more so than Der Derek. I think it is. I think he got the ugly element. Of that's family. why he's a fullback, you know. It's yeah, just not, yeah, it's that not really a sexy sucks for him. Position. JJ is attractive, and you could, and, and his, um, I don't know if they're married yet or fiance or whatever, but she's some famous or, or burgeoningly famous soccer player, I think. Yes, she's, she's also like a, very, very, like a, very pretty. Yeah, but like good at sports too. Yes, is, also you know, yes, extremely athletic. Right. Would well, it surprise I, you if I told you JJ Watt hasn't had over four sacks? or I'm sorry, over five sacks in the last two years. And in the last one, two, three, four, five years, he's only over the five sack mark one time. Here's why that's not going to surprise me. I am I am ready to, to make my claim that he is going to be overpaid and is going to go down as overpaid by a wide margin for the amount of output. Now, is he an amazing locker room guy? I think so. I'm not in those locker rooms. Nobody's invited me yet. I would show up. They've not invited me. <laughs> Is he, I would is be he there. amazing? Right from that standpoint, does he does he lead men? Maybe. And why I only say maybe is like, you know, they didn't win nothing over there. They didn't really get <laughs> anywhere. And, and he wasn't that next level guy like a Lawrence Taylor, which is only a one in a bajillion. I I I got to say, but there's something about it. It's like so he's got the hundred sacks. He's gonna have the career numbers. But right. we are on the end of that career in, in I think, both of our opinions. Yes. And that, to me, is We're why closer I'm to the end than the beginning. Big time. And I'm super shocked he chose them, other than maybe he, he's really good buddies with D-Hop, maybe. And I'm cool with that, and I love that. Kyler Murray, maybe he saw a young, really, like, athletic, interesting, and got the stats to back at quarterback. And he's like, okay, this team's going somewhere. I can ride. But it seemed like there were other spots that he could have went and gotten a title. And he's not talking about going for a title. So honestly, I'm confused about the Arizona move. But as much as I love JJ, 
I don't see that necessarily as the best fit for even him to get his numbers back. I think they have they have a good what Chandler Jones is on the is that right, right. is on the other yep. edge and like so they got somebody, but there were other teams that would have had the storylines would have been way better, and I think even what he could have got into would have been way better. So I'm just I'm I'm like my, I guess if we could give a score to it, my score is yeah. <laughs> <laughs> from uh, to all right it was eh. yeah definitely definitely it was a, like yeah. it was like sweatpants over the pants hand job territory just oh, not that's very good that's very good you should get a sliding graphic of that <laughs> <laughs> just a sliding graphic we give jj watts of the cardinals uh the sweatpant hand job icon <laughs> yeah and i mean like does he make them that much better it's hard to, to believe does that, that. Yeah, does this make Arizona a contender for a Super Bowl? I'm in the, the same emotion of, like, anyone other than the tippy-tip top guy at the position, how else would that happen? So, like, if you move – I'll, I'll use Aaron Donald again just because I think he is so much better. Now, he's interior. I get that, whatever. But, right. like, at a, at a position, if you get the best guy in the league at that position, maybe, maybe that's what happens and you become a contender – I'm not, again, I like the guy. I am not comfortable saying he is the best at his position. And I, I, I don't think anyone's saying that. So I don't think it changes their contender status. I think well, they're, they're flat. And he's he's going to be 32 by the time the season starts, which historically for an end, not a great age range to be, unless you're Julius Peppers, which that dude transcended time and space. But... He like like we were saying, he's closer to the end than he is the beginning. It feels to me like too much money for too short a span of time. Yeah. And Arizona's in an extremely difficult division. An extremely difficult division, especially if, and we'll talk about this later, if Russell Wilson stays in Seattle, that you gotta you gotta beat Seattle. Right. And I'm sure Russ is not pumped to see J.J. Watt show up with his no. very leaky offensive line. But the, the, the playoffs still run through Seattle. He's only missed the playoffs one time in his career. Right. Well, and I know we'll get to that. He may not be there, but – and, and we, we may – you know, we got to touch on that. But, yeah, the, the, the J.J. story is interesting and cool. I saw the lift photo in the Arizona gear. He's, he's a, again, I think – He's going to move the needle in terms of the the moving of hearts and minds, getting right. some jerseys and, and things like that. And that's its own benefit. So maybe the financials will work out there. I think they're paying too much for the sack production. Well, how much more would there have been had there been that Green Bay reunion? Had there been that Packers reunion, J.J. Watt coming to Wisconsin, coming home, the jerseys would not have stayed on the rack. You couldn't no. You couldn't stock enough. No, I thought he could have had that kind of level of movement in Green Bay or or uh, Pittsburgh with the brothers, the trio. And that moves the needle for Green Bay. Green Bay is one impact player, and I think J.J. can be an impact player in smaller doses. He doesn't yeah. need to be the guy on that defense. Right. I, I think he makes them a contender if they go out and get one more piece. I do I, – I have to look it up. I have to look for the guy that commented, poor us – when we were talking about this and talking about Aaron getting some pieces, right. we forgot the tight end whose name I already forgot again. Rob Tanyan. I, I, Rob it's Tanyan. in my head. Robert Tanyan, who Rob is on the Tanyan. come up. Who's on the come up. But we've not – not enough – what do you call it? Not enough tape. Not enough yeah. tape yet. I'm not – and again, I'll respect it because he, he got there. That's not a prime target yet. I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I'll pull up his stats – I don't think he had otherworldly stats. I'm going to do that, too, because you're looking up stats. He, Oh, I love you, Google. Robert Tanyan, he's a football tight end, just in case you, you need hey, to. Hey, we were wondering. We were he's wondering. He's a football tight end. He was uh, – all right, let's look at his stats. To our buddy, to our new friend from the YouTube. I mean, 52 catches, 586 yards. I think what got people excited was the 11 touchdowns. And this is going to make me sound like a weird metric-y dude. Touchdowns for receivers, pass catchers are fluky because you you really should look at a guy, especially if now I know I know we're not going into fantasy, but if you're looking to rank guys, you're going to see touchdown variance at a much higher percentage than receptions and, and yardage. Right. 
So well, the it, lone the lone stoner one. That's the guy. Shout out to you, man. Thank you for commenting. We appreciate that. Much love. We forgot we forgot Robert Tunyon. That's all. That's and we, on us. We can't, you kind of did again. And I did. I did forget his name He's again. But I'm not a Packers dude. fan. I'm not. A, I'm not a Packers fan. No. I'm it, sure David knows his name. I'm sure that he like knows your fault. where he was born, where he was drafted. Like David's I know like where he was born now. I know he was born <laughs> in Henry, Illinois. I know that now. <laughs> What if I can never unknow that? That me and Tanyan are now. <laughs> what if that's just a, if that's it's in, there in there now? It's just in there. He was undrafted. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, again, I'm not trying to start fights with people that want to hang out and watch our clips, but I'm not sold on Tanyan, bro. I'm not. That, there's not enough. There's not enough data yet. I know I get you it. said what about Robert Tanyan, but fuck you. You're wrong. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just. Kidding. I didn't, but I kind of did because it went one <laughs> touchdown, one touchdown, eleven. I think we're. Uh, Let's use law of the averages. What are the odds he comes back to the mean here, which would be maybe like four next year? And it's possible. But what if he showed Aaron that he can make those catches this year? And now you're looking at a guy that's going to put up 800 yards and eight touchdowns, which kind which of. Which is good. Which is yeah, good. That's, still that's lower than 11. <laughs> it well, is because still that's, lower a, than 11. that's the weird metric. 11's a lot. 11's a lot, a lot of touchdowns. Of, that's a lot of receiving touchdowns for any pass catcher we gotta say that's i hate that we have to say that now because it's really wide receiver slash tight end because the kelseys and the the guys like that are so good at that position used to be Ertz, kittle these other ones they're tight ends but they're absolutely wide receivers they're the tony gonzalez model and and it is successful it is it is not just one guy anymore like it was 15 years ago no absolutely so to all of this to wrap up does J.J. Watt make the Arizona Cardinals a Super Bowl contender in your no. mind, yes or no? No. Hard no. Sorry. Love you, J.J. No. Do the Arizona Cardinals even sniff the AFC championship game? Or, I'm sorry, NFC championship game? Yikes. I would put zero dollars on that. I would put zero dollars on them being in that NFC championship game with the Packers, the Saints. The I'm sorry, the Bucks are still here. Like this is like they didn't change anything. The Rams brought in Stafford, Seattle with Russ. Without Russ, I think complete uh, oh, sports blow it up. losers. I think they blow it they, up. they they lose the division. They go to the bottom of the division without Russ. I think he matters that much. I think he's a six game swing kind of quarterback. Oh yeah. Um, J J J Watt at most. This is going to be again rude for without meaning. But I think he comes to a team and only potentially moves the win column by like 0.5 games. I was going to say part, one, maybe. Yeah, partly because of his position, partly. And the other part is he's not playing the whole season. <laughs> so It's true. He's just but not, I want him to. But I want him to because if he, if he sees this, which he never will, no. um, and no one will tell him about it, I wouldn't want him to be offended by that because I happen to like the guy. And he'll come up later I mean, in uh, another segment. <laughs> he will. We played. He played 16 games this year for the first time. Five sacks. It's just not. It's uh, he's, he's not the version of himself he was. This happens to every player at every position. It's just just. Time. And he was dominant for so long that yeah. like you knew that that drop off was coming. So, yeah, I agree with you. I don't. I don't think it makes them Super Bowl contenders. I know it's a hot take. Okay. Everybody's on the Arizona bandwagon right now. But really, I okay. Yeah, I think Arizona's like wow. people are looking at it and they're like. Arizona's going to make some noise, and I don't think they're going to make any noise. I don't, I don't think it's going to be I think the, out over there. You I think and the I top, agree here. I think the top of the NFC is just too good, and Arizona yeah. hasn't shown me enough yet that, like, Kyler Hop is not enough no, on the offensive side. No, I think we could side. be looking at them not making the playoffs again, just like last year. I think it could look like that with the amount of talent that's in the NFC, and there were some vast underperformers last year as well. Yeah. So like the whole NFC East, for example, but right. like there, so there Entire are divisions. things, the whole Ooh. division, and that may not continue. There are some shakeups there that things could be done. If Dak comes back, things could really happen there, but no, I'm, yeah, it's, I'm low on the, we are low on the Cardinals and uh, we are low on the Cardinals. Cardinals winning, you know, I would, I would say right around where they were last year would be probably right. 500. 